good evening, morning, wherever you are in the world, good whatever. Slime Ranger, it's in full release, it's, it has been for like half a month now, and I'm just getting around to playing it. So, loads of new stuff was added. New areas. Uh, new slimes, new fruits. So we're going to start a new game. Everything's new. Hmm. We're going to call it Cuddle Pit. So it's been a while since I picked up this game, and... Really have any reason for it? Ooh, intro. It's a very simple intro. It's kind of hoping for something a little more flashy. You know, like maybe a shuttle coming in dropping Beatrix off over here so you actually could see your character other than in the other than in the menu screen that was your character by the way in the menu screen oh that's different that used to just be a like ruined thing Going through the basic tutorial stuff. Let's get these slimes before they eat the chickens. Oh no, I was too late. You ate the chickens. Bad slimes. Huh. Oh. Yeah, but it's still blocked off. I thought it was open for a moment. 10,000 still, okay. I have no reason to keep you pink slimes, but... I'm going to anyway. I feel the mouse sensitivity is a little bit low right now, but I'll fix that later. Range exchange is still offline. Let's get these plorts so that we can finish up this tutorial so I don't have these pop-ups all the time. Ah, look at all this. That is a well-filled section of plorts. That's Slimepedia. Yeah, I think it would have been kind of neat to have a shuttle carry your character over to the back of that ranch area. Then you see her step off and get the get the backpack. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, I remember seeing something about this Hobson thing. Let's see, Hobson. Wilgers, rancher, explorer, and former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt... Sorry, I got a text message. Pokemon Go Raids. Anyway, I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes that, like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Alright, 
So those those are like the story element of the game now. Hello, slimes. I don't really want to take any of you because, well, I, I don't really have a need to have a massive amount of pink slimes. I just need your quartz to get me off the ground. Yeah, Rustro. That's perfect. Ow. Well, there goes my... There goes some stuff. And I just lost them because of the quartz. I didn't react fast enough, but that's okay. I have mail. Alright, Drewstro, you stick over here. My aim was too low. There, I should keep them satisfied for a while. So let's see, checking star mail. Do you have to actually go inside to check your star mail? Yeah, well, at least you get to see your character over here. It's a very interesting art style to put humans in. Kinda like it though. Hey, star mail. That's the first one. Welcome to the ranch. Blah, blah, blah. KZ. So is it Bay? Bea? B? Bo? Also, sorry if you get that much static. I'm using an old headset. Sleep for a whole year. Ah, huh, interesting. So, I guess long-range travel, you are put into a, a comatose state. When traveling between planets. Which I guess would make sense, because what else are you really going to do? Unless you have a rather large ship. There's not much you could do. Well, I'm sure people who want to read that will read that. I don't really care too much. And what are you doing out of your pen, you darn rascal? See, this is why I don't really want you slimes around, because I don't have any purpose for you, and you're always going to try to get out and eat my chickens. Here, hen hens. We're gonna just keep you relatively safe. By keeping you farther away from them. Further away. Farther the better. There, stay over there. You'll be fine. Maybe. Anyway, I need to get a fairly large chunk of cash. Hello there, little cuddly slime. I need to get a large chunk of cash and... These pink ports are just not going to do it. Let's be honest. So what I want to do is feed... Feed that big old slime over here as much as I can straight away. Yeah, 
Hey there, Tubbs. I'm here to feed you until you explode. I know it's going to take a lot of food. Let's see, was there another crate on this island? No, I don't believe so. And it's going to take a heck of a lot of food. But once we do that, I can gain access to much more valuable slimes. Hello there. And what are you? Ah! A map! I love it. I have a thing for maps. Wow, look at all this area. Okay, need to get these these pogo fruits. I'll go a long way to feeding that slime. I'll take you guys as well. The chicks don't matter because they don't feed anyone. Uh, looks like the carrots over here are all gone. There's a carrot there, but I can't pick it up. Yeah, I have a thing for maps. I've always enjoyed kind of doodling maps of made-up lands of my own imaginings. There we go. We got the key. Dang it. I was trying to get that roostro. Not, not roostro. Hen hen. You are going to explode very quickly. So here, eat that. And now go explode somewhere. Alright, we have the slime key. Let's get the indigo quarry door open, I believe. That is typically the better option when it comes to trying to get, po get money. And there's another Hobson thing. The entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellows up ahead are so grumpy, haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food and calm them down. Well, I'm not going to be bringing any food, Hobson. I'm just going to be running. They can't bite, but they can't bite. And there we go. I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty, so I figured that life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you know it, I come all this way and the first person I see... Well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore. I liked her laugh. Huh. Interesting. Hello. Lucky, I'll be able to get myself a boom port. And now there's Tar. There, one boom port's all I really want. It'll give me a 
decent boost in my funds. Now let's get out of here before we get chowed on by the tar. Oop, and a crate. And, oh! I really would like to bring you home. Now I can't. You jerk. <laughs> but I would like one of your crystals, so... Hmm. I don't have a vegetable. There's not really any vegetables down here, so... Eh, hey! Rude. I guess I'll just grab these rock ports and go then. There's nothing else I can do here, so why stay? Hello. Ow. <laughs> oh, they got me. They bit what they could bit. still really love this game. It's definitely going to be a game that's going to be in my top 10 for a while. There we go. That's a decent amount of money. Let's get a hen hen pen set up then. very least we'll get some hands going. Maybe not the rocky hands like I want, but I'll come in time. So we want some high walls here so we can actually get a, a better group of slimes and keep them in here. slimes I should put in there. Maybe I should throw in some boom slimes. Mixed with tabby. first. Maybe there's a tabby slime over here I can get. There we go. Tabby slime. So I think I will call it here for my first episode back into Slime Rancher. Uh, whether or not I record the next couple of days is... is questionable at the moment. Hello, Tabby. The reason it's questionable is because while there is new stuff, a lot of this is stuff I've done before in terms of getting the place up and running. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we're gonna sacrifice a hand in.
That way I'll have the capability of making a large boom slime. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode back and are looking forward to seeing other parts of the game. Take care, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.